Zach, your ride militarised in the Doncaster. Tell us about him. Well, he's uh, a three-time Group 1 winner. He's a track and distance winner, um, so that always helps. Uh, he's in a good stable with Chris Waller. Um, he looks like he can run a strong mile, especially at Ranwick. Uh, he's been finishing his races off strongly. Um, and he's, he's an exciting horse, of course. Uh, at the weights, he's probably not that well in. Um, having been beaten by Celestial Legend uh, two starts back, he's at set weights, he's now got to give him five kilos. Uh, so that's not going to be easy. Um, and he's going to be hard to beat, but my horse is fairly honest. Um, he hasn't run a bad race and I think getting back to the mile at Randwick really suits him. Talk to us about the Doncaster. What makes this race so special? Well, it's one of the biggest handicaps um, in Australia and especially at Randwick. It's, it's a lovely track. It always attracts a good field and it's a very competitive race. Um, they get a good crowd. The weather can sometimes be a little bit iffy, but my horse goes on, on all types of ground, which is uh, a positive. So, yeah, hopefully it's, uh, it's a nice day and you know, he can get his chance to, to, uh, to show how good he is. Just a general question about riding in Australia compared to Hong Kong. What are the main differences for you? What do you have to adjust to quickly? Yeah, so I've always got to be mindful of that when I first go back there. Um, they don't run as hard out of the gate and they're not as quick to get a position and they generally don't go as hard through the mid stages of the race. So I've got to try and, in some respects, get my horses to come out the gates a little bit slower so that, that they're not running through the bridle too much. Um, the ground is always a bit softer as well, the grass is a bit longer, uh, but more importantly for me I've just got to focus on the whip roll. <laughs> that's, that's always in my mind, I spend the whole race just reminding myself about the whip, 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 whip. So yeah, it's, uh, it frustrates me a little bit, but you know, they're the rules and I've got to play by them. Just finally, you've won the Doncaster three times, let me ask you about each one quickly. Uh, 2014 Sacred Falls? Yeah, so he was for Chris Waller as well. Um, so he was good. Uh, Ray Murray, he, who was the chief steward at the time, um, said after the race that it was in the top 10 best rides he's ever seen. So that was a nice compliment to, uh, to be given. But yeah, that was a wet track, got back um, from a wide gate, sort of ducked back inside, fiddled my way through the field and um, yeah, he was, he was strong to the line, it was good. 2017, it's somewhat? Yeah, so led on him. Um, and uh, felt like I'd had a, he was a horse that was probably not really a sit and sprint type horse. So I, um, I was very mindful not to go too slow, just get him into a nice rhythm uh, and then let him increase as we sort of come into the straight and he pinched a little bit of a break and was good enough to hang on and that was John O'Shea's last group one winner for Godolphin. And most recently, not too far away or too long ago to, to look back on Mr Brightside and local sort of connections with David Hayes and his family. Yeah, well, uh, Craig Williams unfortunately had the fall at Flemington and was out with a broken collarbone. So uh, Luke Carey rode him in the All-Star Mile and won there. And then when he went to Sydney, uh, I was asked to ride him, which was good. Um, he had to carry a lot of weight. Um, just got into a lovely spot from a good gate. Got a nice run through on the inside there. Obviously come around a couple of horses, but was able to save ground. Uh, he hit the front, was challenged, uh, not once, but twice, uh, and held them all off. And obviously, uh, he's just turned into a fantastic horse. The Hayes team have done a great job with him, and he continues to do well.